There are some major military moves up north. Why the U.S., us, we're downsizing. As guess who? Russia is expanding its presence in the Arctic. Putin in the Arctic? We're live at the Pentagon and what that means. So President Obama using Alaska to push his message on global warming. Today, the president will tour one of the state's most famous glaciers, which has been shrinking. Critics say there are much more pressing issues facing Alaska, they believe, including a Russian military buildup just miles away. Dan Springer joins us live from Anchorage with the back and forth on this. So how far behind Russia is the U.S. in that part of the world? Well, hi, Martha. If you think of this as an Arctic arms race, Russia has lapped the United States twice. They are way ahead militarily, and they are also ahead in taking advantage of the economic opportunities. Earlier this year, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a huge military exercise involving 45,000 troops, 50 ships, and 110 aircraft. The country is also moving permanent assets to the Arctic. The melting sea ice means more boat traffic in the Arctic, and Russia is ready for it with 40 icebreaker vessels working currently and 10 more in production. The U.S. has just two, the same number as tiny Estonia. Critics say that is not nearly enough, especially with oil drilling now happening here and tourism about to take off. Now, the White House is announcing later on today that it wants to add a third working icebreaker to the Arctic and also uh, plans to build even more. Martha? Interesting. Uh, interesting battle. Thank you very much, Dan. Well, major military moves from Russia as it beefs up its presence in the Arctic, quadrupling the number of bomber flights from a year ago. All this while the U.S. seems to be downsizing in the region. Chief National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live for us at the Pentagon. Uh, Jennifer, what is Russia up to? What are they doing in the Arctic and that has the Pentagon and others so concerned? Well, Heather, what got people's attention at the Pentagon is when Putin ordered a snap full combat military exercise in Russia's Arctic North last March. 40,000 Russian troops, dozens of warships and submarines. The reason all eyes are on the Arctic right now is that global warming is melting the ice cap, where 40% of the world's oil and natural gas reserves are believed to lie. Experts fear a race to develop those natural resources could lead not just to a new Cold War, but to a new ice war. Russia is reestablishing Soviet military bases in the Arctic, and when Russia annexed Crimea, it also pulled out of the Arctic Council a consortium of eight Arctic countries that includes the U.S. Do we have concerns specifically about Russia? I, I would say we're, we have concerns about, you know, how uh, militaries how, how conduct themselves in the Arctic, but that's for all of the Arctic Council members uh, to discuss. In 2007, the Pentagon took note when Russia planted its flag under the North Pole for the first time. Russian President Vladimir Putin clearly is trying to flex his muscles in the Arctic North, where Russia would like to establish a new Suez Canal, which it controls. The Kremlin released this machismo video of Putin working out with his prime minister yesterday. Another insight into the Russian leader's psyche, Heather. Flex his muscles. That, that's a good one, Jennifer. Uh, what is the U.S. doing to catch up militarily? Well, today the president is making a trip to Alaska, the first trip by a U.S. president north of the Arctic Circle to draw attention to global warming. He announced he will speed up the acquisition of coveted icebreakers. What's shocking to many here at the Pentagon is the U.S. Navy has no functioning icebreakers and relies on just two aging Coast Guard icebreakers. Russia operates 41 with plans to build 11 more. Even China is getting into the game, knowing oil and gas lies under the Arctic. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army plans to pull 3,000 troops out of Alaska. Some say poor timing as the U.S. plays catch up in the Ar Arctic. Heather. All right, Jennifer Griffin, live for us from the Pentagon. Thank you.